Hi, um, so this here is the, the newer um, Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo. And I'm making a video of this. This is going to be my first pitch. I went over to Idlewild uh, Nomad Adventures yesterday, which was um, November the 23rd, I think it was. Um, and, um, and I went ahead and purchased that over there. Um, it ran me with a military discount, uh, $200. That's with a seam sealer, and including tax. It's normally retail for $230. And um, I weighed it in a scale. It weighs one pound, 9.4 ounces. The tent alone without the stuff sack. I'm gonna be using a black diamond ergo cork aluminum. Um, it says on the instructions to sit at 49 inches or 125 centimeters and on these like most uh, tricking poles it'll have 125 uh, it, you don't go by that because it won't end up being 125 uh, so on this particular one 140 on the top the top one and 110 on the bottom one and I measured it from the length it is um, it is a hundred and um, excuse me, it's 49 inches. So I got the right height and from there you can adjust it depending on if you want to pitch it high or pitch it low is my understanding, but I haven't really done that. So having said that, I'm going to get started. Okay, so here we go. One of the things that I found by, by opening it up in the uh, living room, this is a, a non-freestanding tent, so I can't put it in the living room. We often get my REI Passage 2 an REI um, quarter dome too. We set it up in the living room for the grandkids. Uh, this you can't because you need trekking pole and it has to be staked out. One of the drawbacks about about a uh, non freestanding tent is that if you're out there in the woods and you there's a stove sack and you um, <clears throat> decide to to pitch it somewhere, it's a good idea to know exactly where you're going to pitch it because if you want to move it, say for example you didn't really like where it was at. Uh, you have to unstake it, take it all down, move it, and put it back up again. So that's one of the that's one of the disadvantages of having a non-freestanding tent. Okay, so I also found that it was kind of for me the first time that I put it in the living room. I have never set it up out, out in the so I know the front is here. According to the instructions, it says, according to the instructions, it says to use um, six, and that's for the front vestibule, the back one, and then two on each side. And these that I'm using are the hedgehogs, I believe they're called hedgehogs. Uh, each one of these weighs 0.5 of an ounce, six of them is three ounces. If you want to stake out the sides, you'll need eight of them, which will put it up at four ounces. So I'm only going to use uh, three to set it up. So by looking at what other people have done, I, I'm opening up the, uh, lengthening it to the majority of the way. I have a little bit left, maybe about an inch, inch and a half. And then I'm just gonna stake it down. I'm fortunate that I'm in a place where the ground is relatively, um, Soft. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just make it a little taut, not too much. And again, so that's one, this is two. The third one is going to be the one in the back.
now that I've done that, okay, so now that I've done that, um, you put the, the handle on the bottom. You're gonna find that it has a hole that appears to be for the point, but that's not the case. The point is in case you buy a, uh, the poles from Six Moons Design, then you put the pointy part in that hole. Otherwise, it has a little stretch thing here. That's where you put the handle. It'll probably be easier without the strap, but I'm not gonna take the strap off. Put the handle. And it might even be easier, I suspect, to put the other part first. So inside the vestibule, Kind of hard to see. I will show it a little bit later. Has a vent here. You can I'm gonna try to put it through the vent. Um, it has a little pocket, a little sleeve in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I will show that later on when I get up close. And this is at 49 inches. I'm gonna then put this up. I can already see that it's kind of tight. And that little stretch piece, I'm gonna put it around here. And I, I'm suspecting that it may have been a little bit too tight. I don't want to rip the material. I'm going to loosen it up a little bit just because I don't want to rip the material. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to, feels like I have a pretty good tension here. Inside, there is this uh, line, a guy line for the vestibule. And I am going to put it out where I think is, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, oops. There we go. That's pretty good right there. I'm gonna, it's kind of snug. Now, the vestibule itself has a little hook right here and this is a prusik knot I don't know if you can see me here that's a prusik knot and I am going to put this hook onto the vestibule and prusik knots as you most of you may know that if you pull and this one I think I, I would probably take it off and redo it but it is a prusik that's for sure it's good to get these things lined up a prusik, if you get it and you pull it, it's tight. If you pull, if you push it from the bottom side, it can slide. So it's basically a tension knot. So I'm gonna just pull it until I think I, I like it. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna go and you won't be able to see me, but I'm gonna do the back two sides. Okay, so right now, what I'm seeing is that this vestibule here is kind of loose. Um, and I have it pretty tight. So I suspect that this underwind, it might flap quite a bit. And so what I'm gonna do is pick this up and see if I can stake it. No, that would stay pretty good. <clears throat> so 
but I might have to do some more experimenting with this because for me I think this is a little bit too loose especially under higher winds it'll make a lot of noise I have a, a quarter dome tube to the dual wall and also have a, a passage to both the IREIs and even when they're at like 40 or 50 mile an hour winds they get pretty noisy so I can imagine this getting pretty mo noisy however I might find as I use it and if anybody is familiar with these a way to tighten these things down a little bit that could be helpful put it in the comments please I am going to be se uh, seam sealing this so anyway for now it does have a zipper right here and okay so this right side huh. it's interesting okay I put it on the wrong one both of these have loops but there's a zipper that's only on the right side when you're facing the tent not on the left side so this side you want to leave learn as we go like I said this is my first pitch you want to use the left side if I can get it in there and I suspect that if this should break I can put a little carabiner make get a more guy line and just make my own present knot so that should be okay this kind of kind of handy for that kind of cool idea okay so here we go um, and then now with this one here I'm able to get it and it has a little toggle can you see me it has a little toggle that most tents have there you go okay so one of the things that Olivia Oliver was showing was telling me um, first thing she noticed is that the bathtub floor there is pushed too far down so I need and this could be one of the problem solvers for the loose vestibule one of the things that I need to do is pull this out and then I need to pull I need to pull this out because this vestibule was just too not stretched out enough. So one of the things that happens is that this this is now gonna be tilted that way. And I don't think I like that. So what I would do differently, definitely put the stretch thing here. You have you you need to because that stretches out the bathtub floor and and then um, it's still gonna have the same problem let me see here I can now pull this back a little bit right about here And I think what I'm going to do, come over here. Because I'm going to take this back one off. I'm going to put it forward more a little bit. So that I could then, also this one over here, put it forward a little bit. And I, I do think that it's going to take a little bit of practice doing this. Uh, because that's one of the things that I first noticed. Put a little bit more forward over here. <coughs> and that's one of the whole points of this. Okay, I'm hitting something there. Now, hopefully, it's still, it's still too tight. Okay. quite a bit forward and get 
right around there. So there is a learning curve to it. Hope I don't get a water line. Now the back part is seems to be very loose, but if I get this, maybe give it a little bit here. Again, move this forward. Um, so it's something that I definitely need to practice as I go. The front ones will then need to be moved forward, like so. <clears throat> go ahead and just check something here right right now here's a little toggle that has a zipper Oops. There we go. okay so this is much better from earlier so now this is pretty tight the pole is still leaning a little bit but this I'm satisfied with I'm satisfied with that I'm probably get this and move it over here a little more. I think for being my first pitch, it's not bad. I don't want to tear this material. That's 20 denier up on top, 40 denier on the bottom. It's still polyester, the new one, the old one was still. The only thing else that I did here is that when I put this, okay. I think this might be a little bit too snug, I'm not sure. Definitely don't want to rip. Opens up very easily. So. Need to figure out, okay now I'm gonna go in. This, I like the size of this door here, this vestibule. And again, this guy over here needs to be guided out properly. Okay. The zipper has two of them, like many cats do. That's a floor. I've heard that uh, people don't have a problem with the rain. I am 5'6". At least at one time I was 5'6". And... Um, Now this tent did win the 2019 Editor's Choice Award. I'm sure that I can put this in there along with this one over here. It did win the uh, Editor's Choice Award. Actually it does have a little, it has its own little rubber band thing. Uh, yeah, so Backpackers uh, Editor's Choice Award. And it also won the 2019 The Trek uh, Gear Award. I'm gonna climb inside. Um, I, I think I could still stretch it out a little bit more, but that's fine. Climb in here. Okay, so for me at 5'6", I have an enormous amount of room. I have a lot of space over there. I don't need to guide this out. Um, I can sit up very easily in the middle. I mean, I have, I can raise this hand. I can barely touch where the top of the pole is at with my arm. Uh, of course, this does slant down. It does slant down, so if I, you know, if I come over here, I'm gonna hit that. So, my pack, I have an XOS 48. I think any pack would fit very good over there or over here. Um, yeah, I could really dig this. So, supposing I have a nice view out there. Um, I would then take that off, screen, protect me from the bugs. I can see that the bathtub floor 
Okay, so I can see that the bag tub floor, I don't know if you can see that or not very well, but it does go up, protecting from the elements. Um, same thing here. I can see, if I lay straight down, I can see through the webbing, so I think wind will go through there. And I think uh, it's a good possibility that I may be able to pitch it down lower by getting that trekking pole and instead of putting it 49 inches, maybe put it at uh, 45 or there, just practice with it. But the, uh, the tent is very nice. It does have a little pocket here where I can put, put things in and up on top. It does have something I can hang. A little, let me see if you can see that, a little uh, lamp or something there. Going outside, uh, here is where, I don't want to tear the, the tent. Let me see if I can show that. It has a little pocket right in there. I, it's made specifically for, for the, uh, trekking pole to go in and yeah I, I think this is a uh, pretty good so okay I'm gonna go ahead and seam seal it now and hopefully everything turns out okay here's that tent set up you see part of the back side is a little wrinkly because I don't have the I'm set up quite as, as well as I could so there is a learning curve to it. This is the, the back right here. This is the part that I would move it up forward a little bit. And I think that I would uh, also bring it down from 49 inches probably to about 48 inches. And I think that would lower the, um, the vestibule down a little bit and some of the other ones. But sorry, it's kind of a little dark out here. Uh, well, it's not really that dark, but the exposure that this has. But it's, I'm very satisfied with it so far. Um, I just need to see how that works out in the field. I can't tell that until I try it. Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo. They do, by the way, for $9. Uh, Six Moon Design does have either a Tyvek uh, that fits this, or they have two Polycros that fit this. $9 each. I'm sure there's probably handling, shipping handling on that. Okay, thanks.